This is my grocery haul, so it's mainly all vegan, organic, from a local supermarket here called Tesco's. And I want to show you what I got because I get super excited. It's like <laughs> one of those big superstores, you know, where they have everything. Um, this has the most organic options I've ever seen. Now, I couldn't get everything organic, but you'll see. We got so, so much. So, let's begin. I'm going to show them inside the bag. Ooh, teasing, teasing. <laughs> Ooh. So, let's go first. Let's come into this one. So, we have some organic Brazil nuts. Now, most nuts are genetically modified. A lot of people don't know this. I'm big into health. I've been into weightlifting and bodybuilding since I was like 17. I know so much about nutrition and almost every kind of nut is genetically modified except Brazil nuts and walnuts. So that's why I choose to eat those. Um, Pineapple, they didn't have organic pineapple, unfortunately, but this one smelled really good. So I mainly just eat fruits, vegetables. Uh, that's my primary diet. And for a treat, hummus. Now hummus is processed, so I don't eat too many processed foods. Now I know it's kind of crazy, right? That hummus is classed as a treat for me. <laughs> um, my favorite food in the whole world used to be steak. My favorite drink used to be beer. And three years ago, I, I had a big spiritual awakening experience and now I can't really eat meat. It makes me feel sick just thinking about eating animal products. And I don't drink alcohol because I used to abuse it and get in horrible hungover states. So now I don't do either of those. So this is my treat, organic hummus. Let me know who the hummus fans are. Okay, what else have we got? Another hummus, they were on offer. They were two, two for two pounds, which is really cheap, uh, especially for organic products, you know. A lot of people think that eating organic food is expensive, but it's really not. Like, especially here in the UK. When I went traveling over in America, I do a little speaking out in America too, and uh, stuff there is kind of crazy. It's like $12 for an organic juice, um, which is almost double the price that it is here in London. But anyway, life is awesome. How cool is it that I can literally go to a store and pick up a pineapple, right? Organic Brazil nuts. Like, think about how long this tree took to grow, these nuts to come on. How long it takes for one of these nuts to, to become that, it has to get transported halfway across the world, and I can just pick it up for like three pounds or something. Crazy. Oh, organic Brazil nuts are actually cheaper than normal Brazil nuts in this particular store. So that's pretty cool, very exciting. Um, Mia, my amazing wife asked me to bring her a treat and so I did and she's gonna be either very excited now or very disappointed probably disappointed because it's not got chocolate on it oh. it's called a sweet snowball melon I have never heard of it before it looks like a bum and I think it's going to be absolutely delicious. So this is our treat. How do you feel about this, Mia? Excited? Mm. Her face says she's not excited. Cherries. Absolutely love cherries. So good. Plums. Um, these are called super sweet plums. I've never tried them. They kind of... Uh, lured me in because they're twice as expensive as any of the other plums and so to me that means they must be tastier but still super cheap more melon uh, melons are a really great way to hydrate yourself so um, most water especially tap water and even bottled water is not really that great for you um, tap water is just full of all sorts of crazy chemicals. Do not drink tap water. 
bottled water has a lot of plastic particles in it too. So most people, when they get really health conscious, you get your water from your foods. Things like strawberries are 92% water. Now, a lot of our foods, this is, this is how we can hydrate ourselves in a super safe way. One bag, done. It's about to get a whole lot greener in here. Whole lot greener. Are you ready? Are you ready? He's excited. Boom! Organic baby leaf salad. S salads are an interesting one because you can make salads really fun, and sometimes I do. And I got like this voice shouted at me when I was in the store. It said, Get a salad. And I remember I gave someone some advice today because they were asking what organic vegan food they can eat. I said, Make yourself a really healthy salad. And we often give ourselves the advice we need to take. So this is why I bought coriander, dill, basil, and mint. So I can make an amazing salad full of herbs. Herbs are a super high vibrational food. So everything is energy, right? Every food you eat is energy. Some of it is high vibration, some of it is lower vibration. It's not good or bad or right or wrong, it's just science, it's just physics. So herbs are a very high vibrational food. When you eat them, you raise your vibration. So, organic baby spinach. Organic baby spinach, time for two. So I like to have these for my shakes, but one of these is probably for one shake. And then actually do a video uh, tomorrow called What I Eat Wednesday. So if you're, if you're interested in this, Tomorrow, I'll show you how I make all this, what I eat in a typical day. Um, I'm not normal in terms of my food habits because most people's food habits are terrible. Um, no offense, if, you, like, if you're watching this, I guess you're probably interested in this kind of stuff, which is really cool. So I'll show you tomorrow exactly what I'm gonna eat. What else do we have? Organic peppers. At the end, I'll show you the total of how much this all cost as well. But let me know what you estimate all of this would cost where you live. I know we have people watching from all around the world. Um, peppers, love it. Peppers are delicious. You can have them by themselves. You can have them with hummus. Mwah, so good. This is one of my favorites. Organic carrots. Now, carrots are actually interesting because most carrots aren't actually orange. Carrots are all sorts of different colors, purples, yellows, and we genetically modified them to make them straight and orange. So these are actually, um, what you do is you take, you take, you do this with animals as well. A lot of people do this with dogs. You breed them so they start to have certain traits. So these were, these were grown specifically over time to be long and straight. Same as this organic cucumber. This isn't what cucumbers really used to look like. We just made them like this, but this isn't what most cucumbers actually look like, but very tasty, very good for hydration as well. Oh yes, boom, organic beetroot. I get so excited. I just eat this by the packet. Uh, sometimes it's good in a salad, but really I just eat the whole packet like it's just a, a snack. I'm probably gonna have this straight after making a video, to be honest. I, I always buy two, because one just doesn't survive any time. Um, interesting fact about beetroot. If you eat a lot of it, it makes your pee and your poops purple. So sometimes people go to the toilet and it looks red and they're worried and they, they go to the doctor and they're like, hey, what's going on? And it just turns out they ate beetroot and they didn't know. <laughs> oh, next, this is really cool. Peaches. Peaches. Nectarines. Nectarines. Now, I don't know what's going on um, at the moment in England, but we have so many of these. They are like so cheap. So this whole packet is 45 pence, which is like 50, 60 cents. Um, so it's like, just ridiculously cheap. And boom, 100% pure coconut water. Um, I get so excited drinking this because when it's sunshiny, I just realized that if my ancestors wanted to drink the coconut, how much effort they had to go to. 
and I literally just have this and it's like two pounds or something. Craziness. Oh, here we have the receipt. Save that for later. We'll show you the bill, how much it all costs. Second bag, done. Third and final bag. I got really excited when I saw this one. So I've never spoken to ever had this before. This is me a second treat. Organic strawberries. Uh, it's really rare to get organic strawberries. I don't, I've never really seen them before. And so they're also grown in the UK, which is really good because it's good to have locally sourced food. Um, if you can, it's good for your body. It can be kind of confusing if you live in a cold country and you're always eating tropical foods because they have different light codes in them. So food is code. Everything is a code. It's like a computer game, right? Zeros, ones, and uh, everything's DNA. And so if you're eating a lot of foods from tropical countries, your body can get confused. Now, I would love to live in a tropical country and that's our plan for very near future to go to Bali and to Thailand and then I'll be able to eat these fruits without it affecting my body because um, eating locally grown foods is advised by a lot of people but I'm not quite there yet. I like my mangoes too much. Hmm. What do we have? Raspberries. Uh, raspberries, my, um, my amazing nan, which is grandma, uh, she used to grow raspberries in her back garden, so it kind of reminds me of being a little kid. She would tell us to go out in her back garden and pick raspberries uh, from the bushes. So me and raspberries have a special little, a special little relationship. Oh, so much good stuff going on here. Second bag of Brazil nuts, because I don't really go to stores like this very often, and I, I wanted to stock up. Boom! Organic kiwis. We're going rapid fire now. Organic kiwis. Can you believe it? How easy it is. Boom! Organic blueberries. All the berries. Berries are really good for hydrating yourself as well. Boom! Organic apples. I love to make uh, smoothies with spinach, apples. We have organic bananas here that I bought yesterday. Um, and then to throw in something like raspberries or blueberries, um, but I'm going to show you all that on the on the video tomorrow. Boom! Organic oranges. Boom! Organic lemons. These are really good for your um, for the morning. I like to have apple cider vinegar and lemon juice with some warm water for the first thing that I eat in the day. It's like. It's like giving yourself a, a detox from the inside. It's like kind of giving yourself a, a colonic or an enema from the inside. It's really, really good. So organic um, citrus fruits as well. Organic makes a big, big difference. Boom, cherries. And boom, second beetroot, which will probably go in my salad tomorrow. As it, one more thing. Oh, a few more things just to show. Got these dates. I love dates. Dates are delicious. I bought two different varieties from this special like store. They have so many different varieties. They taste completely different. Uh, this one's from oh, Saudi Arabia, and this one. It's also from Saudi Arabia, but they taste so different. This one's really like, like toffee. It's like eating toffee. These ones are really sweet and juicy. Both amazing. And then the final thing, flowers. I really get inspired looking at flowers. Flowers are beautiful. Uh, they symbolize abundance. Um, flowers, flowers are here to be beautiful. I mean, how amazing is that? So this is my haul. This is my grocery haul for today. So you want to know how much it all costs, right? How much do you think? Let me know your estimates. Mia, if you can zoom in on this for me, you'll see it is 47 
pounds for all of this, 47 pounds. So that's about $60, maybe $65. 47 pounds for all of this. Pretty cool, right? Um, some people say, is it worth spending the extra money to get organic? I just 100% think it's worth every penny because most foods are covered in pesticides, they're grown in fields where there's a lot of um, chemicals and that all goes into your food and, and your body is your vessel. You have to be so conscious about what you put into your body. Most people have irritable bowel syndromes and issues with all sorts of things in their bodies and in their mind because they're not eating the right fuel for your body. Food is fuel. And something I'm really proud of, I call it cruelty-free shopping. So this is a cruelty-free shop. No animals had to be harmed to make any of this. And this is really, really important for me. I just can't, like meat, dairy. Dairy is one of the worst poisons you can possibly eat. And um, milk products have this thing in it called casein, which is a very addictive protein. So you actually get addicted to dairy products very, very, interesting how it all works I talk about it in my book a lot um, so I don't like to buy any products that animals had to be hurt to make so yeah cruelty free vegan almost all organic and for less than 50 pounds so tomorrow I will be doing what I ate what I eat Wednesday I've never tried this before, but it's going to be really cool. So I'll be sharing with you all the recipes, uh, everything as we go through the day. Um, yeah, so check that out tomorrow. <laughs> so we've been really thinking about how we should end our videos. Yeah, we've spent a lot of time thinking about it and, you know, brainstorming and masterminding.